it's like it's pretty easy to hit him when he's in disadvantage in a way that you're not gonna like die if you miss yeah and and his up is not strong enough in the air for you to worry about oh god i got hit by dk up b while he was recovering it's more like okay i did like two percent now i'm back yeah yeah even then when you hit him off far enough it's like if he up bees early like if you scare him to up b early you can just hit him out of it pretty easily so yeah but now we have Balo against uh, DK here. We're gonna see how long it takes for him to get around that down tilt. Yeah. So, oh, that was yeah, that was not an NS punish. That was a uh... no. That's a solid punish. Oh no, are you dead? Okay, At I least thought, he got I his double jump. Down, sure. you down might throw die. back air. The nerf's coming in. Um, oh, the disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, so oh, wow, he. He charged that F smash almost. If he just, were, if that was a couple frames faster, he would have died. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really sure what adjustments Asprey should make here in this in the against Balo. The match, okay. like this matchup, just seems like you're already. It seems so behind. bad. Like, I've, like he has to um. You have to severely outplay the other player. For you to uh, yeah, get the win. It's like Asprey is not that much worse than Balo as a player, but he's just like he's just getting hit, and it doesn't really seem like he hit as that much. No, I well, think you're dead though. Yeah, so. there you go. But I mean, uh, this could be the stock depending on what throw he goes for. Okay, yeah, down throw. Yeah, there's no up throw or back throw kill option, so... Yeah. I don't even think... Yeah, forward throw basically never kills, even if you di it away, so... I w do you think he's just gonna stick the guns the entire time and stay um, DK? Yes, because I don't know who else he would go. <laughs> well, I know when he did, like, play Incineroar, he does have, like, a setter win or two against him. I feel like since Bailey's got Palutena, he's just tried Incineroar against Bailey's Palutena, and it's just gone real bad. I honestly, I don't think he's played too often since uh, Bailey's picked up Palu, I think so I'm not really sure how often they've played that matchup. I think he's lost like one or two tournaments to Bailey's Palutena, and, yeah. he's, and he's said before, it just feels like... Oh, ooh, but he hit that. I think you're... Oh, okay, he's alive. I mean, that's the place he has to get, but it just doesn't feel like, oh, because, boy. um, Bailey just doesn't let him have those often enough for him to win. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, it's like... Like, that play wasn't even to, like, make it even, it was to make it doable. Yeah, it was to make it winnable. Because, like, he is at 152. Pally does have... Quite a bit of problem killing if you don't get like the back throw or back air in a good spot. Yeah, but that's but just, uh, yeah. Even her bad uh, counter still that, can counter that, it. That is a weak pass counter, but he was at like 170. So. Yup, 180 some after the hit. That's gonna take game one. Um. Even with the early stock with the dunk, I love that dunk. Yeah, I think there's four frames for Palu, like against Palu when she teleport recovers to get it. Oh really? Yeah, because I remember Nairo talking about it on stream, and it, he said it was more of a four frame than just a two frame. It might be like two frames to like appear and then two frames to grab. Can anyone update the score? Well, we got game one to Balo. Yeah, so it is, it is 1-0 for Balo. Right now, that narrative shoot. Oh wow, he actually kind of got away. Well, he did get away, but then uh, Balo followed him. Anyway. I'm gonna have to assume you can ding. Uh, Balo. I'm gonna have to assume that you can ding dong pal you on this stage. Yeah, you, you definitely can. You definitely can. I was talking about it with the uh, Raziak during their first set, but he said that pal you might not be able to get ding dong. So I was like, I'm pretty sure he could just ding dong with platform assistance. I haven't seen Asprey go for it a single time. Yeah, same. <laughs> Which... Well, I he, think he is going for yeah, it Yeah, right I, th I think there he was gonna probably try it. Like, that was like three or four grabs, which you're not used to seeing. Yeah. Yeah, you kinda gotta hit those, which sucks. Oh! He was not... That's not my Down air! Oh! 
Not sure if that was like the angle that like he was calculating around that there or the one he had to actually just do because he was pretty far away. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it was a good angle nonetheless. Down throw, nothing. I think this is the first time in like either set that Asprey's had like a stock lead. Look out, that counter is so strong. <laughs> I've... Uh, does it have like a sweet spot at the at the um the head of the staff or something? Because that literally went nowhere. I I'm actually unsure, but it it looks like that. Oh no! No jump. You can't you can't give Bailey those. I'm gonna have to say he had no jump. Uh, I think he just side beat instead of up beat. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's yeah. So, I mean. Where's the homie stock, guys? Come on. Yeah, where where is it? Where's where the homie stock, bro? Come on, you you're playing this match. I might as well just get the stock, my guy. Yeah, that sucks. Cause this was like Down the throw, first match bear. that Asprey was had like within like. Uh, uh, there has to be a sweet spot. Yeah, you're dead. Because yeah, he was at 160 spot, yeah. on the last one that went nowhere, and then. Wow, that counter's so bad that it actually needs a sweet spot to suck. Is that really a thing? Well, like, it's <laughs> that, so bad. I didn't know that, that it had different knockbacks. It is, it is so bad that even the sweet spot sucks, but there's also a sour spot, apparently. I'm not 100% sure, but just from, like, the percents in, like, the same situation, it looks like it. Unless, maybe, it could have something to do with, like, when Palu counters DK's up B. If it does live one of the multi hits, does like less damage or something. Yeah, it'd be like one or two percent less. Yeah, I don't for think it would make that much of a difference. Oh no, okay, he does make it back. I think he should have get up attack through the uh, rest of the activation of the down tilt. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that could work. Because, like, if you get to ledge and she's still down tilting, it does have like a lot of frames. Yeah, yeah good. it's pretty it's pretty um it's pretty active so you have a decent amount of time. I'm not sure what he tried to call out there, but um I respect that he's at Ooh. least trying to Yeah. I, was that the eye? Cuz that, that, that was very left. That was definitely bad the eye. Um I'm not I'm trying to like I'm trying to trying to think of what Asprey could do to to do better here, but outplay Balo by more than the matchup outplays him. Yeah, you gotta you kinda just gotta outplay more often. Which is difficult when you're fighting a very good player. Like literally you you just have to be better. Yeah, you just have to be like a lot better. Oh, that was that was a choke and a half, but I mean it's I'll fine finish. because Oh Bailey. That was an NS grab if I've ever seen one. Maybe you like pitied him. Maybe you pitied him. <laughs> just, I'm just not gonna kill you. I'm gonna make this a little more interesting. Oh no. Uh, you are dead. I the most I can give him is up smash. It's kind of slow, and I'm not sure how minus the up B is on you. Yeah, that's true. Um, he forward smashed it earlier, so I feel like I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want us to be mean. Um, oh no. Yeah, this looks over. Back here. Oh, he's yeah. he's, he's still game. alive yeah, though. Dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Uh, Three stock at the very end. We've, we, we've seen some rough games on stream. Yes, a lot of the sets today were just like washes. Yeah, I had my.